not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Courtney, since that one Christmas Eve so long ago, I have stood beside you, promising you a love that has now grown a hundredfold. Today I stand by you, and I stand by that promise. Just as always, in the good times and in the bad, I will be by your side. To always bring you up when you are down, to keep you safe and secure, and most of all, to laugh with you, to watch old Disney movies together and sing along the whole time, to play games and cook dinner together, to sit and watch the stars with you on a dark night, and to take naps in the middle of busy afternoons. I promise to love you with all my heart, till the day I die, forever and always. take this ring and place this on Courtney's finger. This is a token of the promise he just made to you. It's just a stated vows before witnesses and before God. And he promises to you, and this is a reminder of that in the future, that this man intends to be faithful to these promises. So, if you'll repeat this, just bow to that. Wear this ring Pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. <coughs> with this ring. With this ring. I do it. I do it. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Same manner, Dominic Courtney has stated a vow of promises to you before witnesses and before the Lord. She intends to be faithful to that. And this is a reminder that. She stated to me before the Lord in his witnesses. I can repeat these words to Dominic. To place in my spirit. Wear this ring, Dominic. Wear this ring, Dominic. To pledge my love to you. To pledge my love to you. But with this ring. For with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Thank you for 
healing your son. Thanks for just how much you've shown us, how much you love us. And we pray that this man and woman who are taking communion here on their wedding day, that the love of God would be poured abroad in their hearts and their marriage would especially be filled with just your love. We thank you, Lord, in your son's name. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love. As Christ also has loved us and given himself to us, an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smell and aroma. And so communion being a reminder of the love of God in your family. May you love your wife and you honor your husband and love him and serve him that way. And, and yet, uh, you know, Paul exhorted us with you know, the definition of that sort of love is the love of Shown us. So, therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. For as much as you dominate the main court, consent together in holy way love. You witnessed the same before God in the presence of this company. You declared your love for each other while joining right hands. You've given and received your names. So, by the power vested in me by the state of Massachusetts, by the Church of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I declare that you dominate the court and are now husband and wife. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I think of this high priestly blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Let's pray. So, Lord, we thank you for uh, just the way you work here in a mystical yet powerful way. As you brought uh, Dominic and Torton together, we realized that you joined them as one. We uh, witness that now as uh, we brought them together and as they leave this place as husband and wife. And we thank you, God. We uh, just give you all the glory. And we pray you bless their marriage. We pray Dominic would grow as a man filled with the love of God and Courtney as a woman filled with the love of God. And, uh, through their marriage, even, they would touch a lot of lives, Lord. So bless them and protect them. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> 